I'm Mum, I'm Joy. I'm Dad, I'm Richard. And this is... Tim. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Timmy plays uh, Bugle. We started on the Bugle. Plays a little bit of recorder sometimes. Um, piano. Ukulele. Cello. Guitar. <laughs> melodica. Yeah. Yeah, that's just, that's just, I think, most of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a door for him. Mm. It sort of unlocks him. It's great because you have glimpses of what you think he can achieve and it could open doors into all sorts of other stuff as well. As you've seen him play, you just see the excitement. And his arms go and it's like... And, you know, the, the, his eyes come alive and, and there's obviously some connection that's going on, which is really exciting. So Tim's been playing with Anne Howard since June in lockdown um, on Zoom. My name's Anne Howard Jenkins and I'm a musician um, on live music now. I've been with them for about five years. My main instrument is the violin or the fiddle, but I also play uh, the ukulele and the piano and sing a little bit as well. So um, when lockdown came, Live Music Now were very keen to continue with the work. Um, so even though we couldn't go out in person to care homes and schools, um, they set up one-to-one um, -one sessions with families. One of the families I've been working with is with Tim, who's a 12-year-old boy who has Down syndrome. And um, the sessions we've had over Zoom have been amongst one of the most meaningful musical interactions I've had with anyone over the course of lockdown. We've used improvisation as a way to communicate and it's incredible to see him respond to me through musical sounds so um, he's very lucky he's got access to lots of instruments at home so we've used the piano for example and um, he's responded and communicated with me so um, instinctively but it's incredible to see because this is a boy who doesn't comfortably communicate using words and language yet as soon as you put an instrument in front of him, um, the same with a cello or ukulele or a wind instrument, we, we've been able to have such meaningful interactions and it's been incredible to watch. I think in those sessions yeah. with, with, with Ang Harrod, the he has begun to sing okay. and to communicate more and obviously music's a language, so when they're, when they're improvising with each other, it's like they're having a conversation um, and yes, yeah. Words are no longer appropriate. It's like that they they are speaking the language with each other, which um, is unlocking all sorts of stuff that's that's in there. It's just so special. The whole movement and mm. physical strength, confidence has grown. Yes. Through music, um, and particularly. Um, feeling the rhythm sometimes when he's watching a musical program on TV he'll he'll start dancing and we've noticed he started to sing more which has yeah. helped his speech you know it's not just about developing musical skills with both the families I've been working with it's been about general communication and connecting with one another but through using musical sounds and musical instruments there are able to have those meaningful connections with other people which is so important to feel connected and to feel good about yourself and well-being. It would be amazing for every child um, whether they have disabilities or not to have access to the highest level of musical training and musical experience and, and encounter because music um, it's part of being a, a, a rounded person and the educational system 
um, should be have absolutely at its core the arts and music particularly in my opinion because I'm a musician um, right there so that people uh, are able to um, to grow emotionally uh, spiritually and to be able to um, have that knock-on effect on their everything else they that, that they that they do in life and in their education from my experiences as a musician on live music now, um, working in person with um, children with additional learning needs and also online, I've seen firsthand the benefits that music can have for inclusion and well-being and I passionately believe that these opportunities should be freely available to everyone. So um, I hugely support Live Music Now's work and music in general in this field.